I want to welcome the GMs and the wives, the godly men, and the warm, inviting, feminine, empathetic women out there. Now, in today's video topic, I want to discuss how narcissistic individuals, their power is only derived from your compliance to whatever it is that they want from you. And the reason that I want to talk about this is not just so that you can protect yourself from narcissists on the individual level, but from narcissists on the grand overarching societal level. Because we have a lot of narcissistic individuals today, whether it's in corporations or whether it's in government uh, positions of power or whether it's in the universities, wherever we are, wherever we're at, there are narcissistic individuals that are in power and there are a few that want to control you so much so just so that they can get away with doing some freaky stuff. And your compliance thereof to this narcissistic behavior is going to determine whether or not they can actually, I would, I would say, gouge your soul from your insides because that's pretty much what they're doing. What they're trying to do is literally eat your soul so that there's nothing left. These people are walking black holes that do not want to see the light in the world. They're completely nihilistic individuals. When was the last time that you met someone that was a bit more of on the narcissistic spectrum, but they were happy-go-lucky and carefree. <laughs> not very many off, like not very many times, and not very often are you going to experience that kind of person. But what you will experience with highly narcissistic individuals is this sense of almost boldness, but it's not quite boldness. It's boldness in many ways. I equate to righteousness in some ways because boldness requires courage whereas when you're let's say uh what would be a good word for the narcissistic version of bold it would be arrogance for lack of a better term i suppose the arrogance of the narcissist because it's not confidence that they're displaying, right? It's it's actual arrogance and it's actual understanding that they think that they can get away with whatever it is that they want to get away with because they're the ones that are quote unquote running the show. This is not the case. And be wary when people are not even hiding the fact that they're manipulating you. And those kinds of people are the most insidious because they're not even trying to hide the fact that they're evil. But then you do have people that are more on the covert side. And I've mentioned this in, in other narcissistic videos that I've done. If you want to take a look, go through my archives. But I've mentioned this before that the most dangerous narcissistic individual is the covert male narcissist. And the only reason that that's the case is because of the kind of violence that they can ensue on the world if they so desired to, uh, because these individuals are powerful. Don't, don't get it twisted. These are powerful, but they're only powerful insofar as they are giving themselves and their souls over to the devil. And that you're allowing them to have an influence on your life for the negative. So these individuals, yes, they are powerful. Yes, they may have a lot of wealth as well. This is something that a lot of people get into trouble with narcissists for is the, the financial burden and the financial uh, trauma, I guess you could say as well, that is placed alongside interacting with these individuals because I've met many people that both males and females that are highly, highly capable, but they're like 
in some kind of form of debt of some kind, or they have some kind of karma or whatever you want to call it working through that they're going through. And it's like, they just, they can't quite get over the hurdle of what they need to. So they're almost reliant on financially the narcissist for the time being. And it's not a spot that you really want to be. It's not really a spot that anybody would really desire to be, but it is a spot nonetheless that many are going to have to work hard to get out of. That was me at one point. I was rooming with a narcissist and he was my roommate and I had full up close and personal like relationship with him where I saw with my own two eyes just how insidious and sneaky that a covert male can be and the only reason that a covert female narcissist is not as dangerous as the covert male because she would be the second kind of narcissist that is the most dangerous it's that she's not capable of the violence in many ways she's more psychologically manipulative Whereas the, the covert male is, he's he can be psychologically manipulative to the tenfold, right? But he's also someone that has the greater capacity for violence. And so that's why I would say it makes the covert more dangerous, because it's also something that you never really know where you're going to land around these kinds of individuals you could say something that could be perfectly fine and they might take it in a in a way that damages their ego and pff, look out man that's that's when things get really nuts out there is when you you say something that is just fine it's actually perfectly reasonable to say something that you just said and all of a sudden you're walking on eggshells because these kinds of individuals cannot stand the fact that you actually might think for yourself. And so they're going to do everything possible for you to make sure, well, to you to make sure that you're not thinking for yourself because who, who, what kind of dark <laughs> twisted individual wants you thinking for yourself? Well, then you're not going to be easily manipulated. And this is what I have found with so many women that I've talked to within the last couple of years. In fact, over the last few weeks, I've I've pretty much stopped talking to women altogether for the moment because I just got tired of the Jezebels. I got tired of seeing the same patterns with these kinds of women over and over again. And it's like they really don't have much to offer apart from their bodies and I don't want to just have a casual relationship like that and even though I have women coming after me and they, they want to be with me it's like sure they're good looking and it would be fun but that's all it would be we wouldn't be building anything we wouldn't be keeping anything we wouldn't be working together with each other to build something that it could be a lasting family legacy. So why even bother talking to these women out here? And it's not like I'm not talking to women altogether, I guess, but it's just, I'm not taking any of them seriously at this point. I'm just not taking any of them seriously, but it's going to take, it's going to take something really different and I'm open to that different quality of woman presenting herself at any time, at any point in my life, but it's not my priority at this time. It's just simply not. I've lived for long enough and I've went through enough heartbreak to realize that Love in many ways and the idealization of love is what gives us a broken heart. And so it's not necessarily that 
I'm like stone cold and stole like stone stone cold in my heart at all because I have compassion for everybody on the planet. But I don't really respect many people. And it's not because I dislike the people necessarily. I have like this deep hatred. It's just I don't trust a lot of people. If I can't really trust you to be accountable for your own life, how the hell am I supposed to trust you to be accountable for your relationship with me? How much is your word really going to be worth down the line? So this is something that you need to watch out with narcissists as well, because you got to know when to walk away. As the saying goes, know when to uh, keep them and when to fold them. Sometimes with these narcissistic individuals, you're going to be able to have a relationship from a distance if it's like a family or like a family member or uh, some kind of long term relationship that you once had, but maybe you have like kids with them or something now. That's going to be a possibility, but ultimately, you want to keep them at arm's length. Staying close to these individuals. You got to protect your energy at the end of the day. That's what's going to be most important. And so with that being said, I hope this message was useful and insightful. And until next time, peace be with you.